The Tesla supercharging network, I personally feel, is one of the biggest advantages Tesla will always have over its competitors. There's a lot of advantages they have between the software, between the battery tech, and their advancements in sales, the cult we talked about that just follows everything Elon Musk does, and all of them are important when competing against the big automotive companies that have been around for decades, but in my opinion, the supercharging network, if they had to just pick one advantage, that would be the most important one. A lot of you may say that the more important thing is battery tech. Tesla is definitely innovating when it comes to how much power they can fit into individual batteries, not to mention their revolutionizing of the process and manufacturing of batteries to make them cheaper so that they can get the price of electric cars to more people. But I still believe that maybe if there was another EV out there that had better than average range, then the average range of a Tesla, more people would probably still go with them due to the supercharging network. Because extra range, if you can go 400 miles on a single charge, or something like that won't be as important if there's not a charging network in place to support those great distances. So at the end of the day, I think when a lot of people in the future are debating between what electric vehicle they want to buy, the supercharger network is going to be a huge reason to stick with Tesla. It's also something you don't see too regularly from other automakers that may be announcing, hey, we're working on electric vehicles. Not a lot of them are being that aggressive when it comes to installing their own charging stations. And Tesla likes doing a lot of things in-house. They don't like outsourcing a ton of stuff, so the fact that they're willing to put in these supercharging stations as well as maintain them, I think sets them drastically aside from the competition, especially with the rollout of version 3 supercharging, which can allow up to 180 miles of range to be gained within a 15 minute window. And there's actually a website and a Twitter handle I recommend a lot of you guys follow if you don't believe how quickly Tesla is rolling out the supercharging network, because on their website, they do make some pretty bold claims. They go as far as to say as, we're opening six charging stations every single week. When I first read that, I was like, are you really though? Is it really six a week? Well, it turns out if you follow that supercharger feed or check up on that website, there's actually times they do much, much more than that. In fact, all of the V3 superchargers that they recently put up across Canada all turned on at the same time and there were a lot of them. So sometimes you can get five, six, seven superchargers turned on and activated, ready to charge up your Tesla within a single day. Now that doesn't happen every single single day, but I think it's pretty fair for Tesla to claim that on average, you know, between all the superchargers they install over the course of the year, divide that by the number of weeks, it's safe to say they add about six a week. And in my opinion, that is a far more comforting feeling for people who are nervous about switching to an electric vehicle. They're used to their gas car, but they hear that electric cars have much worse range. They don't want to switch to them. Yeah, having a good range in the car, that helps. That's an important factor, but an even better convenience sake is knowing that there are so many supercharging stations across the country and it's very easy to look up you can see if they have them in your area or on the distances you're planning on traveling and you know that you'll have places to stop in charge along the way because as I've said in the past Tesla's greatest threat it's not hydrogen cars it's not the Ford Mach-E it's not other automakers catching up with EV tech I think Tesla's greatest competition is tradition it's people that aren't used to doing things differently and as soon as they hear that their car doesn't have the speedometer behind the wheel and you have to charge it for from home and you don't go to a gas station anymore. There's regenerative braking now, so the car comes all the way to a stop without even touching the brake. There's all these autonomous features where the car is able to drive itself. Humans like change, but at the same time are resistant to change. We're very weird that way. And the fact that so many people have been driving gas cars for decades upon decades means that as soon as you tell them they're gonna have to do something a little bit differently, that's where the most confusion and the most concern comes in. So while a lot of people probably don't even supercharge that often, Often because once you get an electric car, you start to realize that, hey, unless I'm doing road trips, I can just charge from home. It's way cheaper that way. And it's way more convenient because I just plug it in when I get back from work and it charges up overnight and I'm ready to go by the morning. So I don't have to run by the gas station for errands anymore. You realize how convenient that is. But if you're not thinking in that electric car mindset and you're not considering that you charge from home, the supercharging network helps sell the Teslas just as much as the range does. Because what a lot of people are considering considering a new vehicle, especially one that's electric, they're gonna be very, very concerned that, hey, I'm gonna end up stranded on the freeway because the range sucks and this thing doesn't go to gas stations. That doesn't work. So when people are in the market for a car and they can see that map growing substantially and getting more and more chargers put across the United States and Europe and Canada, all over the world, they're installing superchargers. Once people know that that brand that you're buying into is not only making the most massive charging network for vehicles, but also making them better with version 3, 
three. Not to mention trying to build a lot of them using sustainable energy and giving their own dedicated battery packs there so that even if the power goes out, your supercharger will still be able to charge your car. That gives people that extra peace of mind that no, just because you buy an electric car does not mean you're gonna get stranded out on the freeway. Unless of course you get a flat tire because they don't want you using a spare on a Tesla. But sure, some of you may disagree, but that's my final closing thought on today's video is that the supercharging network, the rollout of it, the fact that they're improving it so rapidly and making charging times faster. And if you've seen a supercharger in your area that's mostly empty, keep in mind that's because they're expecting much more sales to come in the future. When you have a company like Tesla where their sales numbers per year are increasing by like 50%, unheard of in the automotive industry in recent decades, and they're expecting that growth to rapidly increase with the Gigafactory 3, the Model Y coming out, a lot of people wanting the Cybertruck. If you're seeing lots of empty superchargers right now, there's a reason. It's because they want to be prepared for the future when many, many more people are going to be buying these cars. And at this point, Tesla has had no issue with demand on the Model 3. And I'm guessing they're not going to have much issue with demand on the Model Y or Cybertruck either. So making sure they have enough superchargers to sustain the sheer number of Teslas that they're planning on delivering in the next decade is very much important in making sure that the version 3, so that cars can charge up in under an hour, is also very important. That way you don't have too many cars backed up with those chargers. It helps traditional minds get more comfortable with the idea of an electric vehicle. Since it's Tesla, we know they're doing it using sustainable energy. Overall, the supercharging network is one of the most important things Tesla can spend their money and their time on. Let me know what you guys think their biggest advantage is or something else they need to desperately put more attention towards. I'd love to hear what you're thinking. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you have an excellent day. Take care.